Hey, welcome to Catching Dinner. Today on this episode, we're spearfishing for striped bass in beautiful Rhode Island. So, look at this. I mean, couldn't be better. No chop, which is great because we're actually shore diving. So we need some visibility. So if the waves are crashing too hard, it stirs up the, the water and you can't really see enough to really spearfish. So we're really lucky. It's gonna be perfect conditions. It, it was, you know, 20, 30 miles an hour wind just a few days ago. So calm down right for us, so we feel pretty blessed. So we're gonna get out there. My buddy Kane is gonna join us and uh, we'll be basically uh, kayaking out, diving, and hopefully catching up some with those stripers that are migrating right now. So should be perfect timing. It usually is mid-June is a good time in Rhode Island as they come up the coast, as the water warms up. They're following the water up all the way to Massachusetts and even further up the coast. And uh, eh, hopefully it works out, but we're pretty hopeful. It should be just perfect. And, you know, we don't have a boat. We're not diving, uh, you know, Block Island and all that was a lot clearer. So we really are happy that the water is going to be a uh, good visibility, at least good enough. So uh, join us and uh, hope you enjoy.
Here we are, last morning. We've been diving for three days. And uh, working hard. Yeah, working really hard. We saw a lot of shorts. I mean, they're everywhere. We saw thousands. But, I mean, these were hard to find. Those are just slightly above 30. I mean, we didn't measure them, but definitely not 34. That uh, you have to cut the pectoral fin. That's the case. So yeah, long story short, it was just an awesome trip. And uh, this morning we worked hard for hours. Couldn't get on some big ones. And then in the last 15 minutes, we're on our way back. Shot them within five minutes of each other. <laughs> yeah, boom, boom. And that's just the way it goes. I mean, when they're yeah. here, they're here. And we've limited out every day, you know. Got to uh, Thursday, just, you know, 28 inches. Then yesterday, got some nice ones. And then today. So we can't ask for better. Some beautiful meat right here. Some, yeah, doesn't get better than that. It's good so, to get. Uh, so, yeah, roll down is awesome for spear fishing. We hit it kind of just right as far as you know the migration coming through. It's just the big ones weren't really coming out, but hey, we get our our legal ones. So hey, it's all matters. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> Booyah. So now we gotta cook them up. So we already cooked some up the first night, and then tonight we'll cook some more, and uh, it's gonna be awesome. done pretty quick and now we're cooking it up. Living the life. Roll that one style. swimming in this cold water so uh, we're all about to dig in just figure that it came down or since he just cooked it up so hey booyah mm. look at that side of clams the striper I think doesn't get more uh, Rhode Island than this in June <laughs> tell me about it striper migration coming through these are on perfect size too and uh, yeah can't beat it Cheers. the way we roll Little side of uh, tomato salad of some sort. Tomato mozzarella. Yeah, mozzarella. Mm. So hey, Delicious. on this note, we gotta eat. Lucky girl. So we made it back to the place that we're staying. It's an Airbnb. We have a, a house here, and I just went through the cabinets. 
found some spices for our fish and the ones I picked are black pepper, cumin, cayenne red, some paprika, some garlic powder, and some salt. So it's basically going to be uh, blackened. Those are all spices that are good for blackened recipe. So I'm just going to spice up the fish and then throw it on the stove top. So here we go. Okay, just threw the fish on. Shaking her up. Mmm, nothing like fresh striped bass, fresh out of the ocean this morning. Found a little bit of butter in the fridge, so I was cooking it in olive oil because that was the only oil I found, but just found some butter. Can't go wrong. <laughs> a little bit of butter. Add even a little more. Now that's blackened. Yep. That's what you call a blackened fish recipe. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. We used to do that with redfish a lot when we lived in Texas. Yeah. It's great. Redfish and striped bass are kind of similar, similar to bass. each other. Similar texture, similar meat. Yep. I love fresh fish. Yeah. I have a feeling this is going to be a phenomenal meal. Mm -hmm. Can't wait to try it. Look at that. Look at uh, mm. the way it should be. I mean, nice and blackened. My mouth. Melt in your mouth. My mouth is watering. An hour ago, that fish was still swimming. Still swimming. So, uh, okay, look at that. Now I'm beyond hungry, so let's just put this bad boy on there, bread. And I think it's done. Yep. So we got some rolls. I'm gonna cut them in half. Yeah. Like that. Oh. And then the easiest thing to do. Of that plastic, yeah. I'll go this way with the green, and then throw that on on there. Yeah, do that with both, and uh, I'll show you the end product. Fresh fish sandwich. And it's something about being able to go and do it yourself. You know, go out and get this delicious fish and be able to provide for yourself. That's what I want to encourage people to channel. Get outdoors and you never know, I mean, make an adventure out of it. I mean, we've been doing this for a little bit so we might make it look easy. But, uh, you know, we're pretty serious about it as you can see. But even if you go out, I mean, you can't catch them if you're not trying. So, true statement. So we have some pepper jack cheese. And one slice. one slice left. So we're gonna make do here. So but I'm still. just gonna slap that on. Yeah, we got a little nothing. mayo. And that should do it. Do you want potato chips on it? Nah. Sometimes we do that, we'll put potato chips. But uh, for this, good. I think this is gonna be just fine like that. Okay. At least for me. I wanna really be able to taste the fish in that, that way. Alright. You will. There she is. Two fresh striped bass sandwiches. The moment of truth. I get the first bite. Looks mighty good. I only imagine how good it tastes. Mmm. Wow. Yeah, I mean, we do miss our. Uh, Saltwater fish, because where we're in Colorado, we just don't get this kind of mm. fresh saltwater fish. And you know, striper is great. We get all the red meat out. I mean, it's phenomenal. I hear some people say that striper is just all right, but I don't know. I'm here mm. to tell you, striper stays great. Okay, Stefan's turn to try. Look at this. See what he thinks. I mean, let me zoom in on that bad boy right there. This is no Long John Silver. Mm. I mean, this is. Catching dinner at its best. 
how'd I do? Is this? Isn't the texture perfect? It is perfect. Fish? Perfect for it's a fish. It's a little bit sandwich. meaty. It's not soft by any means. And the no fishiness at no. all. Mm. And it's just so white and flaky. It's just. Those spices really all goes together. I mean, can you go wrong black and like that? No. Some people will fry them up and all kinds of things, but this is still a pretty healthy way of cooking it. A little olive oil, passing that, and a little bit of butter, bro. Just a Just a smash, but it's just phenomenal. I mean, yeah, can't beat it. Let me see that meat again. <laughs> I mean, where you bit? Is that where you bit? Nah, right here. Let's see that. Let I mean, see. that's. I don't know if I can. Yeah, show that tell, texture but, yeah you but, can tell it's got a little mm, flakiness to it but it's so good so well we're gonna go enjoy this delicious lunch thank you so much once again for joining us yeah. we're always happy when you come along on our adventures which uh, most of the time involve bringing home food bringing home something freshly caught some lunch or some dinner yeah we try hard I'll tell you that much I mean we, uh, we don't mess around Today we we're in for hours. We didn't stop until we both got our striper and uh, you know, the name of the game. Sometimes it happens fast. Sometimes you got to work pretty hard. And uh, today was one of those days. But uh, all pays off. And just being outdoors, you know, just you'll see from the footage. You never know where you're going to see in the ocean. That's one of my favorite things. Is you just never know. I mean, one minute I'm seeing a flounder, the other minute I'm seeing puffer fish, and you know all the other uh, you know local fish. But it was awesome. Like uh, Allison said, thanks for joining us. Hope you come along on more of our adventures. If you want to do that, you can easily subscribe and uh, you'll get notifications when we release more. So we have a lot more coming. But again, thanks for joining us. Until next time, ah! Catching dinners out. We're out. Hmm. Wow. Good, eh? All right, warm like that? Mm -hmm. They speared them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something can be challenging. Yeah, it's harder than regular fishing. You have to dive down. This.